day, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, Tommy, and welcome to the show. Behind these eyes, secret signs. Behind your walls, broken doors. A single road. And welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. This is episode two. Episode one went really good. I'm just trying to reach out to these women and, and get a little insight on their relationships, on how they doing. We're about to open the phone lines. Hold on a second. Hello? Hello? Are you there? Hey. Hi, Lisa. How you doing? How you doing, Lisa? What's going on, honey? How are you? Um, welcome to the show. I make them right here on the show. I try to talk about, you know what I'm saying, what goes on in relationships, how to make that man just right for you. You know what I'm saying? So where are you calling? Where are you calling from, honey? I'm calling from Springfield, Massachusetts. Okay, my city. Okay, okay. So you got kids? Yes, yeah, got five. Oh, okay, okay. And so, do you have a man in your life right now? No, I don't. It was a very toxic relationship. So, so give 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 the audience an idea of, of, of what's going on. Like, like, why are these men so toxic? Uh, I have that done because she wouldn't let me hang out with my friends or go out, or he was like always checking my phone. You know that type of toxic stuff. Right, right, and and we call it that type of toxic stuff. You know how they have broken mommy issues. How they the guys basically they have broken mommy issues. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and it just it's just not right. You know what I'm saying? And I look at it like if you're gonna sit there and you're gonna judge a woman, you're gonna accuse her. The accuser is always the cheater. You feel me? Chill, chill, chill. Yeah, it's like like what well, I try to install into my daughters, you know what I'm saying? In order to be a better woman, you gotta be a better person. You know what I'm saying? You can't you can't just you can't just go about life living freely. And like I told my youngest daughter when I picked her up from work, I told her, Now that you about to graduate and you about to go to college, what you gonna do? She said, Well, I'm gonna stay here, I'm gonna get a job. I said, No, baby, that is not what you're gonna do. You need to get out and explore before you even settle down and decide to have kids. You don't want to have yeah. kids at this age. You want to get out of school. You want to better your life. You know what I'm saying? You want to set your goals. And if yeah, I, I tell that to my daughters, too, because I have three girls, and they're 24, 25, and 20, and then they put their boyfriend in, and I tell them, like, concentrate on what you want to do. Don't have kids right now, because I was mom and dad. I raised them. So, um... I always explain to them that they have to accomplish what I didn't get to accomplish. And they did it. They graduated from school. One of them is working in the hospital. The other one is a veterinarian. And it's awesome. Wow, that's, that's great. Sound like you're a good mother. I mean, I try to. That's, that's what's up. So we're about to go into a break, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned. Behind these eyes. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. Um, I want to ask you a question. Um, how is your family doing through this COVID? Like, like, did you guys catch COVID, or is anybody is everybody healthy? Um, everybody's healthy. I have a few people that passed away having the shot. Um, some of them don't have the shot. Like myself, right now, I only have two shots on. I haven't put the booster or nothing. I've been wearing masks when I go out. I have a mask on. I have a hand sanitizer. 
because okay. of the cold is coming back and it's getting worse now. Yeah, because of the cold. I noticed a lot about um, how people are putting all these, um, how they put in all these injections on, you know, with the COVID and the booster and all that, and people are still dying with the shots. Yeah, yeah. Um, I had a, I had That's a, my I had opinion a, on that. I had a death. I had a death. I had a death in my family. Um, uh, uh, my ex girlfriend, her mother, um, her and her husband, they 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 had the COVID shots and stuff like that. And she took the booster, and the next day she wasn't feeling good. Her husband went to sleep for um a couple of hours, woke up, and she died. And she was dead. Wow. And that 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 hit me hard, man. That hit me hard because she. I can imagine. Yeah, I can she imagine. she was a she was a very very good lady. She didn't bother nobody. She didn't like you know what I'm saying. And it's just hard, man, how like things are doing. Because even when I went to my appointment to see my doctor, she asked me, "Did I get the vaccine yet?" And I said, "No, I want to wait like a couple of years just so to go through trials and stuff like that." I was like, "Which one did you get?" She said, "Oh, I got the Pfizer." And I was like, okay, I get it because of my where I work at, my job. I deal with people, I deal with children, I own a produce store. You know what I'm saying? So I have to make sure that you know what I'm saying that I'm healthy and and I'm not um you know just keep it safe for the community. You know what I'm saying? Correct. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So um yeah, other than that, man, it's just life is what you make it, and most people don't realize. That's why you gotta enjoy it. You only live once. Yeah, you only live once. And, um, so do you think everything that's in the Bible is coming to life? Oh, definitely, definitely. The COVID's in the Bible. They said um because I go to church and I visit church and the, and I didn't know like I thought. Back in the days when I was younger, I was like, oh, yeah, whatever. This and that. But once I grew up and I started more into God and more into visiting church and more into reading the Bible, mm -hmm. and, and I'm surprised how I see the COVID in the Bible. And it's not only that I see the COVID in the Bible, it's in the Bible. It's also more, more blacks are coming out. Yeah. More diseases are coming out. Yeah. That COVID is nothing compared to what's coming. Yeah. Like the monkeypox and stuff like that. Yeah, the monkeypox. Now we have, uh, I've been watching the news a lot, and you have the RSV, the flu, the COVID, the monkeypox. Like so many things are coming out that you got to protect yourself. Mm hmm. That's why I stay in the house. Either I'm at work or I'm home, or I have certain people come see me. Like I have this, I have this one friend named Joanne. She's a real cool person, and I also owns a, a, a film company, and we do movies and stuff like that. And she's a great female. She's a real good lady. She's a real good lady. She lives in the back of me. You know what I'm saying? She's very respectful, but it's just like people nowadays they take friendship for granted. You know what I'm saying? And they want to run your name through the mud. They want to talk about your children want to say stuff to your children that's not cool you know what i'm saying yeah and and it's and it's not cool it's not cool at all you know what i'm saying you know you gotta you gotta give respect to get respect you know exactly and a lot of people are forgetting about that you know that's why there's so much problems in this world now and it's so effing up because you know, people don't give respect and it causes a lot of problems. Even that. Yeah, and they like to talk you a know? lot. They like to talk a lot. I'm like, why don't you be a phone operator or something? And it's like, it's funny though because they're put to like, they're not like back in the days, you know, like we used to fist fight. They want to pull out a gun, a knife. It's like, drop that and let's fist fight, you know? Yeah, and hug like each back other. Back in the days, we, we didn't need a weapon, we didn't need a knife. We don't need the, none of that stuff. You just sit there and you fight like back in the days, you know? Mm -hmm. You fist fight. Right, right, right. And you shake hands after and you keep going. But now they want to kill you and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I applaud you for that. I definitely give you your flowers for that. But um, yeah, we're gonna take one more break, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna come back and we're gonna we're gonna sum things up. Stay tuned.
Welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I had a great, great time with you, Lisa. I had a really good time talking to you, honey. Um, we might have got off a subject, but we actually talked about something that was really, really real and what's going on in society nowadays. And I really appreciate you, Lisa, for giving me your ear and listening and coming on to the show. It was great. So is there anything you want to say out there to my followers, to my people? Um, probably help better relationships or kind of like give an insight. Uh, I can say stay single. <laughs> stay single because nowadays, you know, something, it goes for both. A female and male. They want to control you. Oh, and when you get married, it's even worse. So my advice is, I've been married, I've been divorced. I got out of a six-year relationship, very toxic. And, uh, and I just suggest you stay single and get ready to mingle and, you know, just stay positive and the right man will come to you. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, but now in my situation, I'm not ready for a man. I'm just focusing on accomplishing my goals. I wanted to be going back to school. You know, things that I couldn't do with my partner, you know? Yeah, so yeah. that's what I'm going to be doing now, focusing on me, on my house, and my kids, and school, and trying to get that GED that I never got before because I was too busy, you know, popping kids. And... You know, now it's my time, you know? Definitely. So right now, the, what I, my advice to people is, you know, stay strong, focused. There's always, you know, a, your other half somewhere around. But for me right now, for me, and I, my suggestion is stay single, enjoy life, you know? And if you're not single and you have a good partner, a good partner, congratulations to that. Mm -hmm. But if you're in a toxic relationship, I suggest you do the same thing as me. Say bye-bye. Gotcha. Well, thanks for coming on the show, Lisa. God bless, and thank you very much. God bless you guys. Happy holidays.
Loving me, sweet love.